Hi everybody, this is Geneva. Um, having camera issues, so we're trying this with the old iPhone. I wanted to share with you um, a different version of my, my um, simple 6x6 scrapbook. I notch um, by using the papers, um, which are lovely um, K and Company papers and um, a Martha Stewart punch set around the page. Uh, it's this set. That would be the edge punch and this is the corner one. This set is still available. I don't know its name. I'm sorry I have them written on all my other punches but not on this one. Um, I use no magnet closures at all, so this is totally um, maybe I did use the magnets on. Nope, didn't use the magnets on this one. Um, so as you can see, the papers change it up. Um, the last one was a baby book with a beach theme with craft papers as um, the pages and I used red cardstock and um, it's just the sets that you buy at, at um, Michaels in there you know they have three or four colors probably four four or five colors excuse me inside the packet that you can you know find on sale regularly for five packets for uh, ten bucks which makes them two dollars a packet which is a nice deal um, sorry about that. Okay, I made simple tags, just rectangles of cardstock matted with paper. I did use um, my uh, Stampin' Up! tab punch because I have it. Um, I really wish they would reissue that. It's really a nice a nice little punch. Now the first page is always different than the rest of them, but a simple tag inside the pocket and the mat for the pocket, it, the top is left open so it also can be a pocket to insert something small into. Places for photos here, photos on both sides. Um, or do some journaling with your computer, a handwritten, and just um, adhere it down with, you know, colored paper, white paper, whatever. So this flips open. It does have the eighth-inch gutter, so when um, you're finished adding your papers, it won't. Uh, the book won't fan out like a lot of beginners' albums do especially after they're embellished and have papers on the inside. So just simple and you can see it really is pretty even without any additional embellishment. You have photos and journaling anywhere you want here. Each page has a large photo mat in between and again just whatever size photo or photos you have, just put them on there at a journaling spot and um, you're done. Or not at a journaling spot. Okay, now here's, now they're all built, all the pages are built exactly the same way. You have your flip here, which you can mount a photo, do some journaling, um, add additional embellishing, you can see I punched all these edges with the same punch for consistency. Now, um, a tip, when you do your, um, your, when you punch your edges for your photo mat, cut your photo mat to width, then punch your edge, and then cut it to length. Um, punches take a different amount off the edge here and after you do your first one if you've measured your paper um, you can figure out how much it's going to take off it's generally not more than an, than a quarter of an inch but 
um, you know, they some do less, some do more. You know, punches are different different animals. This is totally a journaling spot. I did nothing else with it. Um, you'll see I have another set of books to show you that I really embellished with because I used some graphic 45 papers just to give you another idea about how to use this pattern. Um, now this flips up. As you can see it has its um, it also has the gutter built in. So if you add a photo here and a photo here it's not going to pop up. I did use magnets um, and if you're going to use magnets, you gotta got to think about um, where to put them. You put them under your matted paper here, and you put it under the page mat. So you've got to um, think about that. But this, this pattern does not require magnets to keep things closed. I like magnets. I have fun with them. Um, this here, I did the same photo mat, the same mat underneath. All of these flips, um, totally optional, but um, it worked perfectly uh, with the punch around page um, stamp set, uh, punch set, and you just simply cut your card to three and a quarter by five. And there's instructions with these um, these stamp these punch sets, and um, this makes a perfect little photo mat, journaling mat, and it's optional. You're building it. Do whatever you want with it. Um, again, this is. Um, let me find a piece of card. Oh, I did adhere this down. You don't have to adhere these all the way down. Here, you don't have to adhere those all the way down. Just leave the top open if you think you might want to tuck things in the inside of it. Okay, so. These I left open. Pocket. And, you know, again, the papers just just made the book. And all, all paper sets that I've come across, you know, the papers are perfectly coordinated to each other, so it doesn't matter, um, you know, how you mix it up. They generally go together. And again, all these pages are constructed the same, just using different papers on the pages and the photo mats. This is a quick and easy album to put together for a gift. Um, it'll take you a good afternoon. If you're a total beginner, give yourself um, a day or so. And I, I do have a, a video walkthrough with my tutorial. So you buy the uh, written tutorial and there is a link to um, a video walkthrough of me building a book of this design. It's not, a, not this book. It's um, a different one and I don't remember which one but it it's it walks you through how to build the cover do the hinges build the pages so you um, you do have some visual help and you know that's the way I learn best so I try to uh, make sure I am going to have a uh, video along with my written tutorials okay this is a pretty pretty set of papers I um, And when you pick a paper collection, take your time. They are not all created equally. My favorite companies um, for paper is Graphic 45 and K and Company. But that doesn't mean it has to be yours. Um, I like uh, me and my big idea papers. 
uh, a lot as well. So those would be my top three favorites. It, it stands alone as a very pretty project. Um, and of course, you can dress it up any way you want to. But the purpose of this was to, um, to really show a beginner that you don't have to have a whole lot of supplies you could really just build this with um, a ruler, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some really good glue. Um, your cardstock, you know, your papers, of course, but you just don't have to have a lot of anything. My last pages I always make um, as uh, envelope pages for photo mats. But you don't have to do that. You do whatever you want. Um, of course, more in the pocket back here. They're so simple to do. Um, don't be afraid of. Don't be afraid of it. Have some fun. Um, and if you make a mistake, and you have to do something over again, nobody's going to know but you. Okay, um, that's it. I hope this inspired you to um, to just, you know, take the bull by the horns and go with it. I will see you soon with another video. Happy crafting, everyone.